culture. Marvel has a villain problem, the internet yells for all to hear, and largely, they're right. Outside of Loki, Marvel Cinematic Universe has seriously struggled to portray anyone as a credible threat that'll live longer than the 90-minute runtime. But when it comes to the comics, Marvel have an embarrassment of riches as far as supervillains go, meaning that there's still massive cinematic potential for the villains who haven't yet been seen on screen. As such, I'm Ben from What Culture, and here are 10 essential Marvel villains not yet used in the movies. Number 10, Mysterio. Spider-Man villain Mysterio has no superhuman abilities, but instead uses his special effects wizardry to create powerful weapons, illusions, and tools of manipulation. He's also extremely skilled at hand-to-hand -hand combat from his time as a stuntman, and his suit includes an iconic glass helmet, the ability to project 3D images to confuse Spider-Man, as well as various smokes that can lessen the spidey sense, destroy webbing, and make the recipient hallucinate. Admittedly, he's a fairly goofy villain, even for the standards of Spider-Man, but it's about time he made his bow. Number 9. MODOK MODOK is an acronym for Mental Organism Designed Only for Killing. I mean... <laughs> Uh, yeah, alright. And his powers include the ability to control other people, and he has a suit that can fire lasers and missiles, and an army of soldiers to help ensure his reign of terror. He probably wouldn't exist in his current form in the MCU, though, because as a giant mutated head in a special hover suit, he's too ridiculous. But don't let the CGI requirement count him out. He's still an iconic figure who should debut at some point. Number 8. Nightmare If Doctor Strange is the heroic god of his comic verse, Nightmare is his exact dark, godly opposite. He is a near-omnipotent, nigh-omniscient, and quasi-omnipresent entity who rules the dream dimension, drawing power from the psychic energies of the subconscious minds of dreaming beings and making you have that dream where you think you've gone to the toilet when you've actually just pissed the bed. He's such a big deal that he's had run-ins with Spider-Man, Captain America, Ghost Rider, Dazzler, Wolverine, and the Hulk, as well as Strange, and he's so key to existence that if he ceased to, humanity would go insane. So taking him down isn't just a matter of beating him into submission or wiping him out. Number 7. Cassandra Nova Nova is a bodiless parasite who gained a human form by telepathically latching onto Professor Xavier in the womb and becoming his twin sister. Cool. Despite Xavier's attempt to destroy her, she endured and took on human form, where she sought revenge against her now-grown twin brother. She not only possesses Xavier's telepathic abilities, but can also block against his own, while hiding her telepathic manipulation even from someone as powerful as Jean Grey. Pulling off such a bizarre origin story would be challenging, but as a fully grown antagonist, she'd be nothing if not unique and provide a ton of visual grandeur. Number 6. Annihilus He's the all-powerful ruler of the Negative Zone, who uses his cosmic control rod, Wahey, to bend its inhabitants to his will and basically make himself immortal since it revives him whenever he dies. He's also in possession of a super-strong armoured suit which can withstand pretty much any type of damage, while he himself boasts super strength and can inflict massive energy blasts with his rod. Mm -hmm. Hell, if you need the combined efforts of Thanos and Galactus just to take you out temporarily, you're definitely a totally badass villain worthy of the big screen treatment. Number 5. Kang the Conqueror Kang actually has no superhuman powers in the traditional sense, but uses his genius-level intellect to master the mechanics of time travel, and as such has not only fought and defeated the fiercest combatants from the past and future, but has also amassed advanced technology vastly superior to our own. Kang's most prominent foes have been the Avengers, and his bizarre our honor system means that he prefers to face his enemies head-on, rather than using his time-hopping advantage to end the battle before it's even begun. Number 4. The Leader You don't get to be considered one of the Hulk's deadliest enemies without doing something impressive. He is a supremely intelligent being, capable of the kinds of acts of grand manipulation that have seen many fall under his control in a bid to end Bruce Banner. I'm sorry. It's said that he can operate above and beyond the normal human spectrum of thought, even comprehending the fourth dimension, and as such he can predict the outcomes of any situation with stunning accuracy, allowing him to not only control minds, but create superweapons of vast power and devastation. Number 3. Proteus Proteus is the mutant son of Moira McTaggart, with psionic and telepathic abilities, the ability to possess humans, almost always killing them when he leaves their bodies, bend the laws of physics, and even destroy a mutant powers. His one big weakness? Metal, which can scatter his unconscious temporarily and also prevent him from possessing anyone with it in their bodies. Oh, well, I suppose you could call him a sh mutant who can't use silverware for whack. 
wankers. Hashtag shit mutant who can't use silverware for wankers. In other words, he's not a huge fan of Colossus or Wolverine. Number two, Carnage. Yes, Carnage could be considered a Venom spin-off, but what takes him one step further is his unrepentant insanity. The host is psychopathic serial killer Cletus Cassidy, who lacks the morality of Venom and was in fact modeled after the Joker, which is always a good start. In addition to retaining most of Venom's abilities, Carnage can also create temporary weapons out of his body. Plus, he's stronger than both Spider-Man and Venom put together, and it's taken their collective efforts to bring him under control in the past. Number one, the real Mandarin. The comic book Mandarin is an extremely skilled martial artist, can survive years without food or water, is a scientific genius, and possesses 10 rings, which grant him enormous power, from electricity bolts to the ability to rearrange atoms. He was, of course, teased as being the main villain in Iron Man 3, but it turned out that Ben Kingsley's character was an actor named Trevor Slattery, and the real Mandarin was scientist Aldrich Killian. But then, all that changed when the All Hail the King Marvel one-shot once again retconned the Mandarin by confirming that Killian wasn't the real Mandarin either, and that a third, real one is waiting in the wings. Let's hope he comes out before Robert Downey Jr. retires his armor. And that's our list. Are there any other Marvel comic villains you want featured? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You can even follow me here on Twitter if you fancy. I'm Ben from What Culture, and thanks for watching.